Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Let's take a quick look at the markets for the week and then we'll jump into my trades. Uh, starting with the S&P, actually let's look at SPX. Hit uh, new fresh all-time highs on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday before retreating a little bit below. Uh, same with NDX, new all-time highs on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, Russell, pretty much, uh, well, quite a bit lower on the week. The Dow uh, uh, weighs off from its all-time highs, but a little bit stronger on the week. Uh, gold, after hitting a new all-time high a few weeks ago, big flush on Friday. Same with silver, big flush on Friday. Notes and bonds, big down day Friday. Ten-year yield popping up over 3.5%, settling in at 4.431. Uh, CL oil, down early in the week, up later in the week. Natty gas has been having some big moves, pushing above recent highs, strong for the week. Uh, soybeans, up big Thursday, down big Friday. Corn up big Thursday, little pullback on Friday, and wheat has basically just been straight down for the last couple weeks. Euro and the pound, big flush down on Friday, with uh, meaning U.S. dollar relative, uh, showing some strength on Friday, and Bitcoin settling in just under 70,000. Hasn't quite been able to get back up to its all-time highs from March, uh, but not too far off either. And then VIX settling in at 12.22. Uh, pretty much every bounce in volatility was met with some contraction. So um, the, uh, the recent low here of 11.52, not quite down there, but not far away either. I would assume, you know, unless we have some big surprise next week, we've, we've got uh, CPI and FOMC on Wednesday, and then we've got PPI on Thursday. So Unless there's a big surprise, which creates some expansion in volatility, I would assume after those uh, after those news events, we we see uh, VIX continuing to contract to new lows. But we'll see. All right, so let me jump into my trades for the week. Um, a little bit of a rough week for me on the red side. Uh, so let's start with zero DTE. Uh, my AM trades had seven of those three of which were losers, uh, net minus 2,900 on those. On my challenge portfolio, let's start with the 1DTE. Uh, four trades, two of which were losers, two winners, net minus 3,200. On my one-to-ones, both my re-entries got hit pretty good. My one-to-ones minus 13K on 10 trades. My 3-2... Minus 12, or almost 13, on uh, on 10 trades. I uh, did do uh, one day had power hour uh, update for my challenge portfolio. Those three tranches were all winners for plus 4,700. Uh, no RICs. They haven't qualified. No FOMC this week, but we will next week. Uh, let's see, my rut hedge. Um, so oh, these, these haven't settled, so that'll be a winner around 600 ish. I'll see where that settles out. Um, but three, three red days, one winner. So that'll be a little bit red for the week. No JSPs as far as power hour outside of my challenge portfolio. Had a few trades here Let me get these all checked. Yeah. So on the third and the fifth had a few trades so net plus 1500 on those Let's see pm trades let me uncheck all the power hours ah, no pm no pm trades that's right i was doing more price action stuff so i i did not take any pm trades uh on my uh, price action trades, three trades minus 6,300 on my, I'm doing uh, something new where I've, I'm utilizing the uh, trading view webhook and um, 
connected to Trade Steward. That's going well so far. I took a total of 32 trades this week, uh, a little bit green, plus 1,600. So I'll be, uh, I'll be sharing more about that once I work through some of the nuances there. Quad 40, not a good week for the quad 40. Three trades, three losers, minus 4K. And then re-entries outside of my challenge portfolio. Uh, on the one-to-ones, had a couple losses. On the three twos, one loss. Uh, let's see, I did one discretionary Rick, plus 800. Did one vertical with the put kicker, minus 2,300 on that. Uh, Volcrush long strangle, I don't think I had any. Yeah, none of those. O2 call calendar, just one trade, minus 300. One DTEs outside of my challenge portfolio. Had a couple of discretionary trades. Both of those were losers, uh, minus 8K. Uh, on those for the week. And then my two DTE, which I'm just kind of testing with, with one lot, a couple winners there, a couple small winners. And that is it for zero DTE. On the uh, dynamic butterflies, just one entry, I believe. Yeah, no closed trades on those. Uh, Red week on the calendars. Let me get those unchecked. Had a little bit of a rough patch on my calendar trades get all these checked yeah so minus 14 on calendars you can see my three six three five three seven all got hit from friday entries monday close as well as the four five had a couple one two one three winners a couple one two one three losers and the rest are open so uh, that yeah, the mainly the uh, trades that I entered on. Actually, where's yeah my five seven six seven ended up coming back as winners, but yeah, it was the three five three six three seven and four five that all got hit pretty good. That put my calendars in the red. And then on uh, so no dynamic butterflies option selling. calendars unchecked could have just used my custom tag to make this a little bit easier but let's just get these undone so option selling just one close trade a little scratch on a hedgehog the, these are just rolls and adjustments so those are those are still open and then on the uh, on portfolio margin just one Closed trade. I only had one position on, and that was uh, time fly. That closed for nine forty-five positive. And then, lastly, I'm going to start reporting on my transformer spreads. Uh, this is something that I, I'm going to be. I'm putting together the uh, information to to present on what I'm doing here. So this won't make much sense as far as what I've got going on yet, but stay tuned. Uh, we'll be scheduling a class on this soon. Uh, just just small small positions, some small winners, small losers. Um, my Mahomes on Friday that'll be about a three hundred fifty dollar winner once those uh, once those options settle. So slight positive for the week, but um, like I said, stay tuned on that. More to come. Everybody have a good rest of your weekend. Talk to you soon.